Everyone is trying to change their lives now in the new year. And weight loss, especially fat loss, is one of the most, if not the most common, New Year's resolution. But obviously, a lot of people struggle with this. So much so that nine times out of 10, people fail at this New Year's resolution. What I'm trying to get at here is that weight loss is hard. If you go online, you'll see a ton of articles promising to give you the secret to easy fat loss. You'll get bombarded by supplement companies encouraging you to buy their fat burners to get shredded. And the worst part about it is, Come next year, you're gonna have the exact same New Year's resolution because none of this bullshit worked. So you might be asking yourself, what does work? That's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. And this is what I've learned through trial and error after falling for almost every single lie about fat loss on the internet. Before we get started, if this topic and others like it interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see my future videos when they come out. And also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I release my future videos. With that being said, let's get started. The main reason why you can't lose weight, specifically fat, is not because of calories. Yes, calories are important, and if you eat too many, obviously you won't lose weight. But the issue with counting calories is that calories are just a measure of energy, meaning that if you eat less calories, you will lose weight because your body has to tap into its own energy stores to make up for this deficiency in energy. But the problem is calories are not specific. Your body can make up for this energy deficiency by either tapping into its fat stores or its muscle. If you're like most people, I bet you don't wanna lose muscle. You just wanna lose fat. And what determines where your body pulls this energy from is hormonal. Let's say for example, you're someone who chronically eats a ton of carbs. Your insulin resistance is gonna be sky high. If this is you, you'll notice that you probably store most of your body fat around your midsection and that your limbs are relatively lean or skinny. If your insulin resistance is high, your body is more likely to tap into muscle for energy and hold on to body fat for dear life. The reason behind this is due to the inflammation caused by insulin and carbohydrates, but you don't need to know that in order to achieve what you want. All you need to know is that if you're someone who eats a ton of carbs on a regular basis and you try to lose weight by just cutting calories, at best, you're gonna end up skinny fat. So how do you get your insulin resistance to drop down or not rise up in the first place? Because truthfully, if you don't have high insulin resistance, meaning that you're insulin sensitive, you're going to have a much easier time losing fat and building muscle. Well, you need to avoid foods that spike your insulin levels quickly. Foods that are simple carbs, think white bread, fruits that are not berries, processed foods with added sugar, etc. These will all cause your insulin levels to spike up and then drop down 30 minutes later. This leads to a yo-yo effect where your insulin levels are constantly rising and dropping. And when this yo-yo effect is happening multiple times a day, every single day, this is a recipe for high insulin resistance. Instead, you want to focus on eating foods that will cause a slow release of insulin so that you have a steady level throughout the day so that you avoid this yo-yo. Foods that are high in protein like meats, eggs, protein powder, or foods that are high in slow digesting carbs like Ezekiel bread, lentils, or chickpeas. All of these foods will keep your insulin levels steady throughout the day. Obviously, you're still gonna need to be eating in a caloric deficit to lose weight, but by eating these kinds of foods, you're gonna be signaling to your body to not burn muscle for energy and and instead more so burn fat. And if you're eating a lot of protein, you might even build muscle and lose fat at the same time if you're just starting out weight training. So it's a double benefit. So to make it simple, how exactly should you eat to look the way that you wanna look? Avoid sugar, avoid fruits, avoid pasta and white bread. Eat carbs high in fiber, eat a lean source of protein in every single meal, like chicken, turkey, white fish, or a lean cut of steak. And include a healthy fat in every meal, like olive oil, grass-fed butter, or eggs. If if you do these things and eat in a caloric deficit, you are guaranteed to lose weight. And not just any weight, but the weight you actually want to lose. And if you want to track your calories and macronutrients, which I completely recommend, download the MyFitnessPal app. It's available on Android and iPhone. Make a profile with all your info and input your goals. It'll tell you exactly how many calories you should be eating per day. And you can adjust the amount of protein, carbs, and fats in the profile in the app. For how many grams of carbs, fats, and proteins to eat specifically, I recommend 40% of your calories come from protein, 25% come from fat, 
and 35% come from carbs. It might seem like a lot of protein, but trust me, having high protein will keep you full and prevent you from going crazy on a diet. And eating this much protein will practically prevent you from losing any muscle. If you follow all of this advice, you should start seeing changes in your body within a week or two and you'll be less bloated. So if you struggle with that, you're welcome. Other tips to help you on your weight loss journey are to drink enough water. You should be going to the bathroom every two hours. If you're not, you need to drink more water. The human body will make you feel hungry even when you're not actually hungry if you are dehydrated. This is because the part of the brain responsible for hunger signals and dehydration signals is the exact same. Also, try to eat slower. Don't inhale your food. It takes time for your brain to realize that your stomach is full and tell you to stop eating. So if you're eating too fast, you're not giving your brain enough time to catch up. Honestly, that's really it when it comes to fat loss. It doesn't have to be as complicated as you might think it is. These principles are what have worked for me and all the other people that I've helped with fat loss, including my own mom, who has lost over 30 pounds by following my advice. And with that being said, that's it for this video. If this video helped you in any way, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. And until next time, don't stop grinding.